evolution of uh, your character with Mara. I mean, can you talk about that? I mean, just getting to play like a you know beginning, middle, and end with like another. Yeah. One of the things that was most appealing to me when I was first asked to play the mother, uh, the birth mother of Mara Isles, was that I knew that we had a physical resemblance that would make it believable for us as well as the audience. But I also had this great challenge, two important challenges. One is playing a woman that doesn't know that her daughter is alive, that had, had mourned you know, 25, 28 years earlier the loss of a, of a, of a baby at birth. And she's a, someone who's very pragmatic, so she believes what's in front of her eyes, but that this was so hard to find. But also to work with the challenges of um, resonating with Sasha's behavior as Mara, the quirks in Mara's character, and, and finding that within her so that we see that this, this match is more than just physical. It, it goes down to um, an energy. Talk about that. Um, the last episode you did, um, I really liked it. You know, your character got to take care of Mara. Yes. Finally, what was that like to play? It was so satisfying because I feel very maternal towards Sasha, and um, the the chance to take care of someone, no matter who they are, that's a grace that we're given as people. And I think. It's, it's something that I recognize the older I get, how much of a blessing it is to be able to, to give, to care for it. Was it a satisfying experience, that final episode? Because I think I just heard you say it was your final episode. It was my so, final episode. Yeah. It's absolutely satisfying. Because we know there's a future for this relationship, for both of these women, and for all the characters on the show. I mean, you've been a part of great TV series. Like, what does being part of Brazilian Isles mean uh, to you? To be part of a show that's about women, that's driven by women, yeah. it's very satisfying for me because I've dedicated a lot of my life as a professional to um, promoting the uh, advancement of women in front of and behind the camera. So we pursue lots of uh, organizations and uh, and a fan base that. I see not only is devoted to the show, but devoted to each other. That's very rewarding. And you know, you're always working on all these different series. Where can we see you now? I finished uh, a series for NBC recently called Game of Silence. I'll be on Devious Maze. And there's one that's upcoming, but I can't announce it just yet because it hasn't made the trades yet. What can you tease about Devious Maze? I mean, how different of a show is that? That's like pure soap. You can't tell uh, me anything. Yeah, it is. I mean, just what is it like to play, you know? I, I'm breaking new ground for me. New ground for me in a big way. That's all I'm going to say. Awesome. Congrats. And uh, good luck with everything. <laughs> it's nice to talk to you. Nice to talk to you, too.